growing in northern India have created northern plains. But have you ever wondered if there is any southern plain? No. But why? Don't we have rivers flowing in the south? Yes, we do. But the region from which it flows is very hard to erode and is very old as compared to the Himalayas. Do you know what it is called? The Peninsula Plateau. What is a peninsula? A peninsula is a piece of land surrounded by water but a part of it is connected to a mainland. And what about a plateau? A plateau is a flat and sharply elevated land on at least one of its sides. The peninsula plateau is a tableland or a mountain with a flat top which is composed of old crystalline, igneous and metamorphic rocks. Do you know how the peninsular plateau was formed? It was developed by breaking and drifting of the Gondwana land, making it a part of the oldest landmass. We can find different types of land formations in the peninsular plateau as well. The list includes several broad and shallow valleys and rounded hills. Isn't that interesting? The peninsular plateau can be divided into two major divisions. These are the central highlands and the Deccan plateau. The central highlands are located to the north of the Narmada river covering most of the Malwa plateau. The Aravali range is located on the northwestern boundary of the central highlands and further on it connects to the Rajasthan desert. The Chambal, the Sindh, the Betwa and the Ken rivers flow from the southwest to the northeast. The movement of their water indicates the slope of the plateau. When it comes to the width of the central highlands, its western part is wider than its eastern part. Its eastern extension is known locally as the Bundelkhand and Baghelkhand. When we move further to the east, we can find the Chota Nagpur Plateau drained by the Damodar River. The second major division of the Peninsular Plateau is the Deccan Plateau. Let's discuss its orientation. It is a triangular landmass found south of the Narmada River. The Deccan Plateau is higher on its west side and then gently slopes on the east side. There is the Satpura Range in the north and Mahadev Hills, Kaimur Hills and Maikal Range are its eastern extensions. It also has its extensions in the northeast and these are the Meghalaya, Karbi Anglong Plateau and North Kachar Hills. The Deccan Plateau is separated by a fault from the Chota Nagpur Plateau and then extends to the state of Meghalaya. In this section of the Peninsular Plateau, we can see three prominent hill ranges from west to east. These are the Garo, the Khasi and the Jaintia Hills. Did you know that the Peninsular Plateau extends till Meghalaya? Let's summarize. The Peninsular Plateau is a table land formed by the breaking and drifting of the Gondwana land. The Peninsular Plateau is divided into two major parts, the Central Highlands and the Deccan Plateau. The Central Highlands lies on the north of the Narmada River. On the other hand, the Deccan Plateau is a triangular landmass that lies to the south of the Narmada River. 